ASMR time. these questions. I'll write the questions down in the description. I also write down all the links to all the videos or all the channels that I mentioned. And um, the second is an artist I like to challenge is Vitor is Mar and uh, the third is Martis. I would like to challenge is the Whisper Corner. is like when I was a kid my favorite food or candy or favorite sweets even though it says it's for mostly for baking I really like this the taste of this mm. so in Sweden we call it nougat the same as the French nougat, that's more like that uh, 
uh, that you can find in this type of chocolate. It's more like uh, pieces of almond in it. I guess you can call this praline in other languages. But in Sweden it's no god. it as a plain, plain tool. So we get really thin slices. And um, you use it mostly for cheese, but uh, I use it sometimes for like cucumber and first question that I will answer is what was your first time you experienced ASMR and um, that must be when I was visiting my grandmother as a kid then um, her husband wasn't my grandfather but I guess he's the he's the one that's closest to be my my grandfather because I haven't met my any other grandfather so he I mean, we didn't have very good contact, not uh, grandmother or, and me, or grandmother's husband and me. They were always like out. Uh, uh, they were out 
in their boat traveling during the summer and we were like staying in the, their house empty house then so but sometimes they were at home and on the wall uh, close to the dining table there were a big map showing the archipelago and all the islands it's like a sea map or a not what's it, what's it called like a nautical chart I guess and um, I guess I had been interested in maps since a couple of years and I guess I used to stand there and stop there and look watching like wa looking at this map or staring probably for a long time and I remember I guess it happened several times, but I, rem I remember how he used to like stand beh behind me and showing me this map, uh, different places they have traveled, traveled to, or just all the places and islands that were shown on this map. And I was very interested, actually. And I remember this was like an ASMR experience. Uh, maybe not the first, but it's the first situation that I remember. And it was like, it happened quite a few times. So, and the thing was that uh, he could really stand there and uh, show me the map for a very long time. It was like he also enjoyed showing this. And I enjoyed it looking at this map and uh, listen to him um, telling me about the, uh, reading the map to me so uh, that's probably one of my first uh, memories of ASMR experience next question is the first time I watched ASMR on YouTube and um, that must have been in 2015 when I when I um, search for some sleep aid videos. I guess I needed sleep aid at the moment, and I came across this uh, ASMR term. And heard about it and also read an article. I guess I googled it and then uh, read a ar very interesting article about it um, in Swedish. Um, it was written by Hanna Fahl, by the way, I remember. And um, I started to watch. Uh, one of the first videos I remember that I really liked was uh, a map. It's my video. Uh, page turning, relaxing page turning, I think. From ASMR Muffin. It's one of my, still one of my favorite videos. Um, Atlas page turning. And next question. Yeah, this is my favorite question. My favorite unintentional ASMR video. And uh, I found a video quite recently that I really liked. So it's when you search for quietest press conference ever or something. Then you can see this this um, video called um, the Chess Championship press conference. Uh, there are th 
three women sitting uh, next to each other and discussing a chess game but there are actually a lot of different videos here so you have to find the right one it's uh, it's the one from ASMR loops called chess discussion 42 minutes or it's the press conference round four it's another video with the same persons it's super relaxing actually and I also like um, a Bob Ross episode from the 29th season episode let's see episode number 10 um, it's actually a guest artist um, painting floral painting her name is uh, Annette Kowalski I think and it's super relaxing because she's painting floral f flowers on a black canvas and it, it looks like she, she's painting with um, uh, you don't see anything in the first uh, 30 minutes or so all you can do is listen to her voice and watch her hand movements and just relax um, the last five Asian artists that I watched so it must be good night moon I just watched her his smart tag video. I think it was really nice. And um, I also just watched an indie ASMR video. He hasn't uploaded for a while, but actually now, um, some week ago or a couple of days ago, he uploaded a new map video US he has this series about the US state maps. So it was the Florida video uploaded so I watched that one and um, before that I think yeah it was uh, the Whisper Corner is more is um, uh, Atlas from 1800 or something really old atlas he's reading from and I that was last night I think I just I don't think I even watched two minutes before I fell asleep it's so it's so effective sleep aid and um, that was three I think it must be some video from Vitor Esmar in Portuguese Brazilian Portuguese. Um, he also quite recently uploaded a new map video of South America. That's really good. And um, the fifth one must be Relax ASMR. He also has uploaded some new stuff. I guess it was one of his videos I watched quite recently. My favorite trigger to listen to, that must be Soft Spoken. Um, really want uh, to listen to that. I prefer that um, over non or whispering, so soft spoken is my favorite. And uh, my least favorite trigger to listen to, and uh, also do it. Uh, it must be whispering. 
can enjoy this spring, but it's, it's not very often I do that, so I don't tend to search for whispering videos. But for example, in the ASMR, his latest video is a whispering video, but I think I really like that one. So it's a few artists that I can listen to while they're whispering. And um, another thing, I don't... Another thing that I don't like or don't find relaxing at all is eye contact because then I just get stressed or something I I have to to look in another direction or I don't watch it at all but I can still listen to it that's mostly how I consume his more videos it's just listening in the dark with my headphones and the iPad in its uh, sleeve, so it's completely dark. But uh, okay, so I should do these triggers, so to say. Okay, I'll try to. for relaxation or sleep. I must say it's mostly for sleep actually. I think it's a really good way to to yeah I don't know how to describe it but it's I found it easy to fall asleep easier to fall asleep with these my videos than without or actually even though I could fall asleep without these more videos I kind of kind of enjoy enjoy it in a way. Well um, it's also I mean it's a it's a nerdy interest as well. listening to something on my iPad. So it's mostly something from YouTube or some music. I listen to sometimes I listen to music instead. I have some favorites um, music artists to that I find really relaxing and uh, David Bowie. audiobooks could be really nice or some documentary on YouTube or I think just a few days ago I think I listened to some Brother Cream 
fairy tales. Something that I where I don't have to pay too much attention on what's what it's saying. Mm. And if it's ASMR, it's mostly a, a favorite ASMR that I already know. I will that will help me fall asleep. So one more. I've seen recently. And um, my favorite trigger to do and do it I don't know but it actually it could be it would be nice to do it <laughs> at least it's a humming I really really like humming but uh, and I've noticed that when I have too long intros to my map drawing videos, like I did a couple of map drawing videos with a like intro where I was humming something, they tend to be like not to get as many views as those with that. So that's more like when I start immediately drawing. So I guess some of you quite quite a lot of you actually find it a bit annoying with the humming so if I will do humming in the future I will probably do a separate video for that but take to make a video. Mm. It can actually take a while. Um, I have videos, I have footage that I recorded in April that still, still haven't published. So I don't know how to count it, but uh, a couple of months but of course it's not full time but um yeah i can't say but it takes a lot of preparation a lot of mental preparation uh, concentration and um, i guess I, I have to find the right time for each step in a way so how to find the right time for editing and for e for filming, of course, and for um, editing, for rendering, and for uploading. So 
um, when I started I used to just uh, record and upload the same day but now I kind of notice how, how this uh, just expands this uh, period of time in which I'm working with the same video so it's a process actually each video is a process mm -hmm. have you ever got jingles from your own videos? yes actually I don't uh, watch my own videos but um, I noticed when I recorded a video a long time ago and um, then editing it after some months or so I think it was that this happened when with my German German um, video. This looks, doesn't look really fresh. Let's see, you can see that now. I don't know if this was a good idea at all. But, uh, when I watched it like uh, several months after I recorded it so I watched it because I was uh, I was going to edit it, edit it and then I noticed that um, I kind of saw the qualities in it I had forgotten what I have done so I could see some parts of it could be a bit tingly actually So that's uh, when I maybe when I see something that that's a bit older than uh, that's not uh, the most uh, recent things I've done. Do you watch your own videos? No, I don't. Um, not only if it's like something it says something in the comments and I have to check what it is then I could watch parts of it but uh, I don't like to watch it I find the editing process quite um, quite um, I'm quite anxious about it actually because I don't like watch myself time of the day when I film it's uh, daytime always because I want uh, the daylight I don't have any good um, light for like uh, spotlights or anything I kind of like the daylight mm, how it looks I mean the, the environment it makes so but of course it's a lot of sounds happening during the day from outside it's a barking dogs and it's crying children and um, planes cars lot of things. It's a bit uh, frustrating sometimes, quite often actually. Mm. Favorite video that I made myself? I 
guess it must be one of my outdoor videos because I really just because um, as I mentioned uh, there's a lot of annoying sounds when I record indoors like now now it's quite calm actually it's a good time for for p.m. on a Saturday not so many noises but um I'm a bit stressed by filming inside because I had to take so many breaks and then edit it so I don't think I get like so there was just so there was just another plane if you see what I mean so I kind of don't get this deep uh, relaxation myself but um, yeah so I really enjoy recording outside and I think my favorite video still is one of those who still that still is waiting to be uploaded, but that I have already recorded. It's a lot of outside videos coming up. But if I have to pick one that's already up, I'll go for yeah, the last one, probably the. Um, 3D impression of the forest video number 46 I think and one mention one video that had unexpected negative fan reaction actually it hasn't happened so much, but there was one video that I deleted after a couple of hours. It was on my Instagram. Um, during this summer I made one minute Instagram video a day. And um, was actually in the video where I used this calendar with the Royal Liechtenstein art. Uh, the first of September I did a video showing this picture because it was the picture of September and then um, started to like reading from uh, both the picture and the calendar here. So I also started to like tracing the picture with my finger and um, it was up for a couple of hours and then I noticed I remember I had like 505 followers Instagram and then it started to like uh, started to um, the followers started to leave like 504, 503, 2, 1 so it was down at 500 again and I started to think so hmm what's this why is this happening and then I watched my latest uh, video this one and saw it with completely new eyes and actually it was a bit creepy it looked kind of psycho <laughs> doing this tracing of that uh, arm and that hair so I can really see um, I didn't like the video anymore because uh, yeah like I said I saw it with completely new eyes so I deleted it didn't get the love it deserved. 
served, you think. Um, that must be... There are some map related videos. Actually, my video number 25, I think. It was, uh, uh, my second video about the Earth globe. Where I show like the sou southern hemisphere in the first one that got really popular. I showed the northern hemisphere and then I got a lot of requests for doing the southern hemisphere as well. So I did one and um, but it has like not so many views that I expected actually. Uh, I think it has a quite a long intro as well. I talked about that before. Um, Maybe many of you don't have the patience to watch the intro and just don't watch it. So uh, I kind of learned that when you have a video, you should start quite immediately with what you're gonna, what you're about to show. So I will try to not make so long intros anymore. You learn from each video you make on YouTube. Um, something the audience doesn't know about me. Yeah, it's probably about the extra drops. Actually, I don't use these at all just for the videos. I think uh, the look of them and the sound. This is like the perfect ASMR uh, cap drops. And uh, as you can see, this is actually the f very first one that I bought for, for this purpose. It's for, I guess I use this in, in the drawing map of Europe video. So it's more than two years old now, and this one, I guess, is from last year when I did the orange peel drawing map of the world video. So there are still, they're not empty yet, so I don't use lemon drops, like in everyday life. I It's just for the video. But um, Fisherman's Friend, another brand, another kind of mint I use. So it's just this type that I don't use. Mm -hmm. Most absurd request from a fan. I haven't got uh, any absurd requests, I can't remember. There have been some requests about, yeah, some maps, some really detailed maps actually, that I don't know if I can do in such detail. It was something about drawing the map of France with, I mean, not just the 15 or something uh, divisions, but like all the, if it was like 90 or 100 tiny divisions and uh, the same request type of request with Russia with all these uh, minor divisions present uh, so I guess I can't do that type of detailed videos because when I did when I do just like 15 divisions the video is already one hour long so I don't think I will do a longer more very much longer video than that but it's not an absurd <laughs> request but it's, it's um, just what I can remember now um, do your family and friends know about 
You raise so much. Uh, no, actually, they don't. There are uh, three persons that knows about my channel so that I do videos. But I think I have to tell more people about it soon because it's starting to get it's it's starting to get like uh, become a quite a big part of my life and. I'm spending a lot of time doing this and I have to somehow I guess I have to tell them about it. I don't know why actually. I think the reason was that I, I'm afraid that you know some of my more personal videos where I'm talking about um, a lot of thoughts and such my pyjama ramble or I think I'm afraid I will not be so relaxed and open to do this, talk about these things, if I knew that um, people around me watch my videos. So I think that's the reason. But also I think it's too much... Uh, well, it's actually like I can't really see my friends and family anymore because yeah, because this is what I do now, so I guess I have to be more open about it. Uh, I, I would feel better if I did that, I think. So I think that will happen quite soon, but more people will know about it. Um, recognize in public? No, I don't show my face. So. What inspires your video ideas? It's watching is more videos, of course, and uh, I must say it's mostly watching other artists <laughs> traveling visiting new places and um, yeah, just listening to sounds trying sounds like if you're in a grocery store it's like tapping and pay attention to everything spending most time online. Well, it's on YouTube. Definitely. And, uh, the last question. What advice would I give someone who wants to make their own ASMR content? I think I'll go with the same answer as um, Goodnight Moon. like to see more of. Uh, at least that was exactly what I did. So I, I found some map videos and I wanted to see more map videos. So I did map videos and uh, now I can see a lot of ASM artists doing map videos much more than before I started. So it's very So with our collabor collaboration between things will fly by, let's find out is more gas lamp is more and me, and also my collab with the India is more. Uh, it's been so nice to to do this collab map related is more videos and to show that this is actually a sub genre of is more. videos, more people can find that they find it relaxing. Maybe they didn't know until they see some of our videos. So 
and also with the calf drop was uh, also the same thing I want to see more videos with the calf drop mints hard candy and um, so I included that in my videos as well um, that was all the questions and um, this was actually really messy not sure this was a good idea about the lookout thing but I hope you found this this uh, video relaxing and uh, that you like to listening to these questions. I find it quite interesting, these types of listening to other ASM artists answering these questions. It's nice to get to know them a little bit more behind the scenes and their thoughts about their own thoughts about is more community is more in general so hope to see more videos in this um, in this smart tag series and I hope you of you that I challenged to do. Hope to see your videos soon as well. Thanks for watching.